I'm going to show you how to calibrate the CO monitor on the new Unicus 3 system. These are the CO monitors that uh, Bauer's been using the last couple of years. So it's got a new uh, program that you do the calibration through the touchscreen, through the HMI here. So it's going to be a couple of things that you need to make sure that you've got. You want to make sure you have your test gases. There's going to be two get test gases required. You're going to need your zero gas and also your 20 part per million test gas. Make sure that these are not expired and that there is a proper range of um, gases. So we use a 20 part per million and a zero gas. Also, good thing to uh, check before you do your calibration is to make sure that each of the test gases has uh, air or um, CO calibration gas in the bottle. So just go ahead and put your regulator on those cylinders and make sure that you do have pressure in there uh, before you start the uh, calibration procedure. So um, you're also going to need the special regulator. These come with the compressors, the regulator along with the uh, little adapter to make the connection. And then uh, if your gases are expired, you want to go ahead and call Bauer or call your distributor and order those test gases before you go through the calibration. So um, this is the monitor. The touch screen is located on the front of the Unicus here. So this is where we'll actually end up going through our calibration. The, um, the CO monitor itself is located on on the Unicus machine, it's located on the right-hand side, and so we'll uh, go over there and point out a couple things there. Okay, this is the CO monitoring system. Um, again, it's located on the right side of the Unicus 3, uh, connected to the electrical control panel. I'm going to just point out a few things. This is your uh, valve that controls the high pressure air coming into the system so this is pulling the sample from after purification you want to make sure this valve is always left open okay so this is more of a maintenance valve if you had to work on the system you could turn off your high pressure air there to do any work on the system it's actually got a low pressure regulator so we're taking the 6000 psi and bringing it down to about 6570 um, PSI through this low pressure adjustable regulator which also has a relief valve on it so if the regulator goes bad the relief valve will pop off protect the rest of the system and once we step the pressure down low pressure air we come through this uh, low pressure hose up to a solenoid valve the solenoid valve turns off the sampling flow when the compressor is not running so um, you don't need to be sampling the uh, air coming out of purification after the compressor shuts down. So we go ahead and, and turn that flow of air off um, when the compressor shuts off. Once the compressor turns on, the PLC will send a signal out to the solenoid valve to go ahead and open up. That will supply low pressure air through another regulator here, which steps it down into the CO cell. So this is actually where the cell is is inside this manifold so this is our sampling gas here then it's connected uh, to the PLC through this bulkhead connection here so I'm not going to cover um, how to change out the cells in this uh, in this video we'll leave that for a later video but I just want to point out this connection this is where you will be making your connection to do the calibration so we're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect that that is where the actual regulator so the regulator uh, will connect into here when the procedure on the uh, HMI tells us to connect that test gas and it'll tell you which test gas and uh, to make the connection and uh, when to turn it on so we're gonna go ahead and leave that off for now but I just wanted to point out those things um, on this video I'm not going to discuss any of the repairs of this um, just wanted to point that out so you're aware of it uh, while we do the calibration. 